In February of 1957, a discovery in the Fox Chase neighborhood of Philadelphia shocked the nation and led to one of the most enduring mysteries in American history. A young boy's body was found in a cardboard box, abandoned in the woods. He would become known as the boy in the box. His identity remained unknown for decades, until recent breakthroughs brought us closer to the truth. Welcome to today's episode, where we dive deep into the haunting case of the boy in the box. It was February 25th, 1957. A man, looking for muskrat traps in a wooded area, stumbled upon a large cardboard box. Inside, wrapped in a plaid blanket, was the body of a little boy. The child was between three and seven years old, malnourished, and had been beaten to death. His hair had been recently cut, and his body showed signs of long-term abuse. What was most chilling, though, was the fact that no one knew who this boy was. Despite extensive searches of missing children's records and public appeals, no family came forward to claim him. The Philadelphia police launched a massive investigation. They took the boy's fingerprints, hoping to find a match, and even dressed him in clothes to try and spark recognition. They canvassed the entire area, but despite their efforts, leads were few and far between. The box the boy was found in had once held a bassinet sold by a local department store, but even this clue led to a dead end. Flyers with the boy's image were distributed across the country, and multiple theories began to surface ranging from him being the victim of an illegal adoption to speculation that he had been held captive in someone's home. As the years passed, this case grew colder, but it was never forgotten. Forensic experts continued to re-examine the evidence, and in 1998, the boy's body was exhumed to obtain DNA samples. The advent of modern DNA technology sparked hope that the boy's identity could finally be uncovered. Over the years, several people came forward claiming to know who the boy was, but none of these claims could be verified. One of the most notable theories came from a woman known as Martha who said the boy was purchased by her abusive mother. While this lead seemed promising at first, it was later dismissed due to lack of evidence. Then, in 2022, a breakthrough came. Using genealogy databases and advanced forensic techniques, researchers finally managed to identify the boy as Joseph Augustus Zarelli. For over six decades, his name had been a mystery, but now, thanks to DNA and genealogical research, the boy in the box finally had an identity. Joseph was born in 1953, and while his exact circumstances are still unclear, investigators now have a new avenue to explore his family. This identification gives renewed hope that the details of his tragic death can finally be uncovered. Though the case has gained some answers, many questions remain. How did Joseph end up in that box? Who was responsible for his death? And why was he abandoned so cruelly? As we close this chapter in the mystery of the boy in the box, we remember Joseph Augustus Sorelli and the investigators who have worked tirelessly to give him a name. But for now, this case remains unsolved. One of the oldest cold cases in American history may finally be nearing its end. But justice for Joseph is still yet to be served. Thank you for watching. If you found this story as haunting as I did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more true crime cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think really happened to Joseph Augustus Sorelli?